SDCPOE stands for Systemic Treatment Computerized Prescriber Order Entry. And to clarify, these are electronic systems that we use in the hospital uh, to prescribe medications. Anybody who works in healthcare, we came into this business because we care. The guidelines are really an opportunity to help provide some points that you might consider, some questions that you might ask, based on the experience from people right around the world who've published research about what works best. When we started the evidence-based review, we really could not come across any guideline out there or any uh, major literature work that encompassed both the clinical aspect of how you use these technology systems as well as the back end or the technical aspects of these systems. So I think the unique part of this guideline is it merges the two areas together, which is an extremely important merge that the clinicians and the people who are driving the technology, that they work together. So at the end of the day, it's not technology driving the clinicians, it's the clinicians that are driving the technology. Designing a system that is easy and straightforward for physicians to use, that they can navigate easily, is really important. Otherwise, they'll become lost and irritated, and they'll waste time. We've particularly written the guideline in mind, looking at all our possible readers. So I think a clinician, a nurse, a pharmacist, uh, an information uh, systems person, a CIO, a health administrator, everyone will get something out of this guideline. Well, this is a good news story for patients and their families because it helps to ensure that the potential for errors to occur at the order entry stage uh, is minimized uh, by implementing safely and effectively a computerized physician order entry system. The risk of errors are reduced at the order entry stage. Uh, any really serious errors that could adversely affect the patient are, are caught by the system if it's properly designed. And so this helps to ensure safer treatment for patients. And that's the message I think that patients and their families need to hear. It's all about making the technology work for the person who's using it. Why wouldn't you want to take advantage of what's been learned around the world about how to use these kinds of clinical innovations to deliver the best possible care? Time to open up.